16, I'm playing Ottawa Fury, right? So we're traveling and kind of gets to my head a little bit. Uh -huh. And so I didn't have the best first year. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it also wasn't the best. And so I feel like the coach that I had that time, he, he kind of picked a lot of uh, players that he, he liked more than the others, and you could really tell. And so for me, I, it was a struggle because I was just coming in and I was just getting fitter, bettering myself, right? But, I mean, I going from Ottawa Royals to Ottawa Fury, the level of play was a lot faster. So it was, it was hard for me to adjust a bit. And so throughout the whole year, uh, a lot of the teammates was telling me, oh, you're not good, like, you're going to get cut and stuff like that. But that's only because they knew the coach was going to cut me anyways, right? And so towards the end of the year, uh, trials come around for the next year, and I'm just like, you know what, I'll obviously try out. I want to pursue it. I want to uh, become a pro soccer player. And so I tried out for the next year, but I didn't make it. Okay. Okay, so I'm 17 now. Mm -hmm. I got cut. Okay, and the whole year... Uh, what I did was I was like, you know what? I don't want to give up. Obviously, I'm not going to quit and, and things. So even though they cut me from the team, I was like, I, I talked to the coach. I asked him if I can come to train. So that whole year I was cut, I was training with the team. Really? And can you imagine, like, the players, they're like, oh, telling me you're not good enough. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And, like, and, and like I'm, you've, you've been there, right? So yeah. you've kind of seen this. And it's just like, they're telling me you're not good enough. Like, why are you keep coming to training? But for me, I mean, I was really stubborn in high school. And so... Even if someone told me you're not gonna make it, I didn't really, I didn't really bother to, to listen to them, mm -hmm. right? And so I had a, a goal that I set for myself, and so I trained with them for the whole year, right? And so the next year I turned 18, and this is when it got really serious with Ottawa Fury. So this is when they were when they were doing really well in the NASL, and they were bringing in Mark De Santos. I'm not sure if you know him, yeah, that yeah. coach. Yeah, yeah. So they were bringing in Mark De Santos, Phil De Santos, and then uh, everyone was having these big talks about Fury, like what they're gonna do with the academy and stuff. And I was getting really excited. And even though uh, Mark and Phil, they used to come to our training sessions, right? Uh, I wasn't a part of the team, but they would still come out and they'd be watching for me in training sessions, right? And so it was it was pretty nerve-wracking at the time. But I believe, like, the whole time I believed in myself and I knew that I would next year, if I keep pushing, I would make the team. And so the trials come out for the next year. And the coach, the coach that had cut me the last year, uh, he was getting replaced by Phil, Philip mm -hmm. DeSantos. And so uh, coming in, he was going to be the new technical director. And he was really into technical players, right? And so I'm going into these trials and I'm thinking, like, I'm going to have to kill it. And yeah. it was it was crazy because I set my days, like, everything, and I had everything prepared, right? And so we had trials for, like, a week or whatever, like, however long it was. But every day what I did was I got myself ready uh, mentally when I woke up I listened to uh, there's a motiv motivational speech that I, I used a lot whenever I was training and I don't know like for some reason that though during those tryouts I, I performed so well and I did an amazing job and and the coach really liked me and uh -huh. so he was really confused as why why the coach cut me from last year and so that's when it really started working out for me because that year we played in a league called PLSQ uh, and so it's like a, a French League One team. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of it, but it's a, it's a pretty decent level. It's, it's like, it's like, yeah, I was going to say, that's like a, as high as you can get before there was the new CPL like this year, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. that was like the highest you can get. And so we played in that. And I actually used to be a winger. Like uh -huh. That was my position. But this coach coming in, he was like, you know what? Uh, I see you more as a left back. And everyone was confused. And so like I started playing as a left back, but the things that he was teaching me, I was just grabbing onto them naturally. And it was funny because, like I told you, I got cut the year before. And even though uh, those all those players are telling me, you're, you're not going to make it, you're going to get cut. So some of those players that tried out for the same team, they yeah. didn't make it as well. <laughs> and so, like, at the time, I was just so confused. I was like, oh, I thought they were better than me and, and yeah. everything. But it just goes to show you that the hard work that you, you put in really pays off. Mm -hmm.